All right, so after coming back from that pitiful display from the last game, we are back again. And before we go join the Imperial Legion, I am going to go grab Lydia because, frankly, at this point, going out there by myself is not going to happen. Let's sate that appetite, hmm? Age of aggression is just about done. We're gonna need these. Mm, let's see. We'll take some beef. Garlic bread cures all diseases. We'll take some of those. We'll take some goat cheese and we'll take some mead. Need anything else? Just let me know. Okay, so. Yes. For those who missed the last episode, I highly advise you go back and watch it. It's going to explain a little bit of what's happening in this episode as to why I'm going to go pick up Lydia. Make it quick. Need something? It's not easy being a woman in Skyrim, I know. But stay still. So, yeah. Hopefully she's in Dragon Reach. We did send her back after her somewhat pitiful display of combat. But at this point, kind of got to go with you what you have. And she's what I have right now. Let's see. Hopefully she's here. This is where you should she would hang out. Now. When the sun goes down, you best keep on your guard. Ah, there Another she is. Another wanderer here to lick my father's boots. Good job. Long life to you, Thane. Lead the way. All right, we are heading out. Everything's in order. That's Be good. Glad you're here in the city and not out in Riverwood. These poor sods don't even have a war. So our plan for today is to make our way to Solitude. I could fast travel there using the cart, but I figured it'd be a little bit more fun to travel there on foot. See how far we can get. I'm going to stop by the general store and see if they have a cooking pot, though, because I actually do not have one. And I'm going to need a actual tent that protects from the cold. Because right now I have a leather tent, which is good for rain. Rorik's tent's a nice enough little hamlet with a boring posting for a god. With a dragon in There's been talk amongst the gods that you are dragon. So, who the hell is this? Hold up. Need something? You are wearing interesting robes. Oh. You want? Need something? Huh. <laughs> nope. Sorry. Nothing. 
Alright, so. Yeah, she was wearing some some of the tribal robes. But I don't think she, she might have been a priest or something. Hello, friend. Hagraven or Horker. It may an archer, huh? I've got just what you need. Yeah, hopefully you do. Do you have a cooking pot? Which you do not. I am in desperate need of a cooking pot, actually. Hmm. This could make things difficult. I actually might need another blade, too. Thank you very much for your business. Hmm. Maybe I can craft a cooking pot. Nope. Sorry. Nothing. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. Cooking pot. What do I need? Two still ignits. Or ignits, excuse me. Can I make them? Well, I made one. See if I can buy one. Have you met my father? Take a look. Uh, you do not have any steel. I'm actually kind of disappointed. Uh, you don't have any good armor either. Cutlass could be really good though, but 500, ugh. Hmm. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need any. And the shop's not open, of course. Oh, I need iron, not steel. I'm an idiot. Wow, okay. Um do you have iron? I help my father the finest weapons and armor. You do have iron. I only need two. I am stupid. Alright then. Okay. Cool. Now we have a cast iron pot. So hopefully we can use that to start cooking. Fortunately, we still don't have anything in terms of of a fur. You think all the council my um, father provides the yarrow? A fur tent, alone? but we'll bank to what we have. Let's just say I, I don't think solitude's going to be that cold. Uh, then again, that is quite a ways. I don't know. Maybe we'll pop by Workstead. And get supplies first. I think that's what we'll do. We'll make our way to Rorkstead first, and then we'll head towards Solitude to join the Empire. Advise the advisor and leave it at that. I could buy a horse. It'll leave me with 51 gold, though. Although I do have enough supplies. And I think I should be coming into some gold fairly soon by joining the Imperial Army. I think that's what I'll do. 
come to chat with an old woman, hmm? Or, you know what? I think Rourke's dead has an N. Or not an N, but another carriage. We'll see how, how, how good it goes. Traveling there without a horse. And if we desperately need one, then we'll go grab one. But I think we should be fine. What the hell? That takes care of that. Okay. Um the fuck. You need something? Well, I just got a free key and some some gold, but what the fuck just happened? Bandit outlaw. Actually, I'll take that lockpick. I guess bandits attacked? Wow, they're really getting bold. Behind you. All right. Hopefully, you'll actually fight this time. Because I'm going to need you to fight. Because sadly, you're my only option right now. Yeah, that was weird. I guess bandits are just getting more brave and coming closer to cities now. What level are we still? Level 8. We have not really leveled up a lot. Then again, we haven't been doing a lot of actual fighting as much as I thought we would be. Also, before I forget, I need to actually change the difficulty setting. There we go. So, I think we're at the point that we can be on expert without having too much difficulty. But it's, it's been an interesting playthrough so far. That, the last part was definitely, probably not my favorite. It, it could have went a lot better. And I'm not exactly sure what all happened. Um, I know one just got dropped quickly. Um. She she just fell to the ground, but Dossie, I'm I'm surprised she she died so quickly. I don't know. What are you a farmer? I'd stay away if I were you. I'm on my way to a giant camp, and I can't guarantee keep your distance, and you shouldn't have anything to worry about. The cow, of course. Others do it di some think it's superstition, but I believe it's tradition. Hmm. We mark the animal as a way to let the giants know we're giving it to them willingly. Sort of a peace offering. I have everything under control. Thanks. You take care of yourself now. Gotcha. I was kind of hoping he would give us a monetary reward. I think we've already cleared this place. At least the outside of this place. So we don't need to go inside and clear it. 
How much damage does our weapon do? So I'm thinking we might need to... It does 23 base damage, so... That's not too bad. I would start using a greatsword, but I'm not proficient in greatsword usage. And for the slight damage increase, it really isn't worth it that much. But yeah, before I got sidetracked, that last part really put a damper in some of my plans and how I was going to go about doing things. Why does it feel like it's going to rain? But yeah, that, that happened and then the spiders and just... Ugh, speaking of spiders, there's one of the dead ones. Just a lot of things that could go wrong pretty much did go wrong. Although I still managed to stay alive. What are you, storm cloak soldiers? Keep walking. Both along. This doesn't Both concern along. you, friend. Yo, you wanna go? I am Both down along. to go. You know what? I've had a shitty day today. Both along. Test me. Go on. Get out of here. Don't make me tell you again. If you know Both any along. true sons and daughters Both of Skyrim. Along. Both along. Fucking test me. Ulfric Stormcloak wants to see me. Both along. Are you looking Don't for a fight? Don't make me tell you again. Get out of here. This doesn't concern Both you, along. friend. I don't think they're going to do anything. Go Don't on. make me tell Go you again. <clears throat> Get out of here. Both along. Yeah. Both along. They're not going to do anything. They're just all talk. The hell? Oh, okay. They must have just got done killing these people. That is a nice great sword. Dragon bone. Huh. I'm right behind you. You got some things to I trade. I am sworn to carry your burdens. Of course you are. Now. Take that. You know what? I'm going to be nice. I am going to give you one of my swords. Lead on. Oh. So there we go. I, I was nice to you. I gave you better weapons. Just don't fail me. So I guess that explains why those Stormcloak soldiers were way out here. I guess they just got done fighting. But I think once we start joining the Imperial Army, we'll get some gold, and then we'll continue on to meet the Greybeards. But we'll make it the Rorik Stake first. Ooh, what is this place? Okay, really? With the Skeevers? Again... I don't know why there's so many rats just hanging outside. Usually they hang on the inside of caves or like in the bottom of basements because they're fucking rats. Bone Fang Cave. Now, if I hey, look a cave. Wonder what's inside. Thanks, Lydia. If I remember correctly, I think this is where vampires stay. I'm not gonna fuck with vampires right now. But I will be back, and oh my god, is that a, that's a cast iron? Really? There's two cast irons here? God damn it. Well, in any case, let's try and make it back to Rookstead. Has there been a lot of action out here?
Who the hell turned invisible? We can actually eat some deer meat here. Really, she turned invisible. All right, Lydia, it's gone, it's gone. Or maybe not. I'll kill you if I have to. There we go. It's a lot of venison. That'd be useful. There we go. It's like you have to aim above the reticle to actually get the shot off. It's a little misleading. But so far so good. Uh, it's almost noon and I'm pretty sure it's gonna rain at some point. Duh. Huh. You know what, is this the camp we came to earlier? I'm going to check one more time and see if the bandit leader's here. Because this was the camp we came to earlier. I doubt he's here. I'm just going to assume that quest is just completely bugged out. And there's nothing I can do about it. Though, honestly, at most, I'm only losing out on 100 gold. But it's still 100 gold that I would like. And why is that floating? That is so weird. I'm going to have to check and see what exactly is wrong with this game. So I'm pretty sure that may be the cause of why he's not here. Is random floating objects. Yeah, he's not here at all. And there's floating weapons and stuff. So that that can't be good. I'll definitely have to check and see what's going on with that. That actually might be Rorg's dead up ahead. Okay, yeah, that is actually good. So, we can actually go there and get the camp. Get some supplies and head over to Solitude. Maybe we can actually pick up a quest or two here, too. And there's a dragon. You know what? Change of plans. We're gonna go fight a dragon. So it's an ice dragon. This ought to be fun. Damn it. Is it really flying away?
All right, dragon. Let's see what you got. Are you actually going to fight Lydia? Oh, the game's bugging out. I don't think it likes me there being a dragon here. That's a pretty good shield, actually. Where is Lydia? Did she bitch out again? I feel as though she bitched out again. Oh, you are dead. You are all types of dead. I'm just gonna take all of that. Oh, hey, I think I see Lydia coming. Hey, hey, how you doing? You were completely useless yet again, but whatever. You'll just be cannon fodder, I guess. And I need a pack mule, so. Still here. I am at your command. Well, you're not much good for anything else, so. You lead, I'll follow. Okay, so that was a dragon. I don't care about any of you girls fighting. I wish I could be an adventurer like you and go wherever I want. You can. I wouldn't. The pay kind of sucks. Let's see. What's his manner? Okay, here we go. If you've got some business in Rome, sorry, I don't mean to be rude, but hmm. Juan's the one who deals with people. I'm afraid I lost my charm years ago. Yeah, I don't really care. Alright. Frost Fruit Inn. Let's see what they have. Warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. Sweet. No offense intended, but I don't think we have anything to if talk about. If you need about. a meal or room, I've got both. Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. Let's see what you have. You got plenty of food. I'll take some of that. Take one of your teas. People say there's someone in Riften that can change your face. Make you look completely different. Take a look. Is that all you got for me? Alright. Alright then. So it's only 127, so we don't need any rest. However, I don't know if we're really equipped to deal with the cold. Because our armor doesn't really give us that much protection against the cold. Or no, 125, that's not too bad. I don't have any cloaks or anything, though. That's probably something I should have invested in. Hmm. I don't think anyone here sells any cloaks or anything, so... 
we'll just have to bear with it and see if we can make it to solitude without freezing to death. Actually, maybe this guy has something to sell. If you're thinking of setting up to farm, you pick the right place. Never mind. Useless. All right. Mm -hmm. So. It's pretty much almost a straight path. We really don't have to deal with the cold until after we reach this little plateau area. So, I think we should be okay. As long as we just kind of follow the main road. I think we should be alright in terms of supplies and survival. But yeah. I'm noticed even with the EMB installed, there's still moments to where, like before the dragon, the game just kind of drops in performance. And then there was the floating weapon. So, I'm thinking something is messing with the FPS in Skyrim. And I have V-Sync enabled. But, for whatever reason, it's just not working correctly. So it's not really keeping it at a stable 60. It'll jump up this it'll jump up. And then it'll jump back down. And then it'll jump up and down. And then I think when trying to switch between frames like that, it's causing the game to stutter. Oh, rats. So, where is this? Lud's hut. I'm gonna assume there's nothing here since rats just came pouring out of it. Still here. I've got your back. Yes, Thane. What is it? Yes, yes my Thane. Can't do that. Sorry. Useless. All right. Whatever. Can have a bit more water. Pretty sure there's not gonna be nothing in here but more rats, so. Holy crap. Like I said, more rats. Alright. I don't know what happened to Lud, but his place has been completely destroyed, pretty much. Hmm. There's not really anything here to take. I can't really take his cooking spit. You know, I gotta wonder what happened to this guy. Ruined book. I'll take the poison. I wonder if these apples are any good. Yeah, he didn't have much on him. Hmm. Oh well. I mean, it sucks for him. Really wanted to send Liddy in there, though. So I wouldn't have to deal with that, but it is what it is. I'm just going to take all this in this basket. It belongs to me now. Alright. Let's get back on the road to Solitude. That little side distraction there with the rats wasn't really necessary. It really didn't even give us anything either. Just 
She'll catch up. But yeah, I think after we joined the um, the Imperials. <sighs> All right. More bandits. Something you should be asking you. You guys are like no threat to me, even on expert. Ooh. What do you have? Heavy leather backpack. I think I have something similar. However, Lydia, it's your lucky day. You get more stuff. I'm right behind you. I am at your command. You are going to take this heavy leather backpack. You lead, I'll follow. There you go. You know what? I will take that. That will help against the cold. Not the most fashionable thing, but you can't really complain at this point. There's a fight going on over there. Looks like between Imperial soldiers and possibly more bandits. Unfortunately, I don't think I can make it over there. They should be fine. Keeps bothering me how many skeevers are just on the main road. So let's see. We're actually crossing this little plateau here. So we're still making good time making it to Solitude. It's like a hunter and it was like some bandits, actually. Bandit outlaw. We'll help out here. Okay, you know what? I think I might have found out the cause of this. And unfortunately, it's one of the more interesting mods that I have right now. I think some of the stutters are coming from this mod here. The, um... The Silver Unrest mod. And I think the reason for that is because the game is spawning so many NPCs that it's constantly writing scripts for new NPCs, path AIs, and stuff like that. So it's not, it can't properly keep track of itself.
Alright, you hit a little bit harder than some of the others. Let's see. We'll put a point into... So he's got some keys. But yeah, I think it might be the Warzone mod that's causing a lot of the stutters and stuff. Because I've noticed that when there's a lot of NPCs, that the game kind of has a micro stutter. And then it proceeds to um, do its thing. It proceeds to run again so I think that may be the cause um, after this part I will do some investigating and actually take a look and see if that's the case because if that's the case then unfortunately I'm gonna have to uninstall this mod I actually really do like this mod though all right so we're here and her we're at each other's throats again can't take this anymore I began skimming a little gold from the take, bring it down here when I can. If I can scrape enough together, I'll make a run for it. Head down river to Dragon Bridge. Okay, so pretty much apparently the bandit chief was getting tired of all this. He didn't want to be a um the hell is that? Steel fur. Okay. He didn't want to be part of this group anymore, I guess. And so he's been rationing off gold from to himself apparently and the gold is to the north of here which I'm fairly certain I know where that is so we can walk out and go that way to it but that's gonna cause us to get wet so what we'll do is we'll climb out of here And then it's right outside of here. Over yonder to where that small little island is. Is where we'll find the chest. Really, Lydia? But, I think that might be the cause of the mod. Or not the mod of the game doing the micro stuttering because it doesn't seem to happen inside of caves or inside of the dungeons it seems to happen when in open areas like this and then when there's like a big battle about to commence because I, I think what's happening is the game isn't loading the NPCs until after I've triggered the event so because I haven't triggered the event and once I trigger the event it takes a while for that's a pretty nice sword it takes a while for the game to register that and then the micro stuttering is the game itself trying to pretty much load up the NPCs which is unfortunate for me because I actually do like this mod I think it lets Skyrim actually feel like a province you know like it's an actual area rather than this big empty wasteland with nothing to do. That's kind of why I don't like Fallout as much as I do this game. I mean, granted, there's mods and probably in Fallout to which you can add NPCs and stuff, but it just feels very barren, and that's kind of why I don't like Fallout as much. Ooh, actually. Timber Wolf of Magic Resistance. Oh, it's about the same as what I have. 
He's not worth that more. Yeah, see that micro studying right here? I don't know if something's about to go down or not. It's very hard to tell sometimes. Need something? You want something from mm -hmm. me? Yes. Well, these guys aren't as aggressive as the other one, so. I suppose I'll let them live for now. But we're almost to solitude. It's about 5.30. Okay, yeah, see, that shouldn't happen. He just kind of popped in there like that, so... I'm definitely going to have to find out what's going on with some of this stuff. Because NPCs shouldn't pop in like that. And I think that's what's causing the game to do what it's doing now. But I'll talk about more about that in an upcoming update regarding the playthrough. Those are just hunters over there. So. Yeah, that. Yeah, see, I don't think this Warzone mod is fully fleshed out. I actually do like the Stormcloak armor a lot. That's actually really cool. I might actually take you to that or the um, Imperial version. What if he knows he's hitting his own people? It is really hard to tell which ones to hit in this cluster fuck. Oh god, are you okay? You're all Imperial. Alright. Cool. Job well done, team. That is a really nice greatsword. Take some of this gold. I really like that greatsword. It's basic, but at the same time, it's really cool. I'm going to take one. That, damn it, that's another great sword. I'm trying to see if one of these guys actually has like a regular sword. This. 
I'm gonna find whoever did this, huh? You just missed them, buddy. As in, they're all dead now. Is that a horse? Can I just take that horse? I'm just gonna take this horse. Technically, no one knows I stole it. So how far are we away from solitude? Oh, we are going the wrong way, actually. So let's turn this back around. And we need to be taking this path. But, unfortunately, yeah. I think this is what's causing a lot of the problems with the playthrough in terms of stutter. Um, I'll see what I can do in order to keep to keep the mod itself, because I actually do enjoy the mod a lot. But at the same time, if the game keeps freezing, and has like micro stutters like that, I know it's not really that enjoyable to watch. So, I'll figure out what to do. And I'll definitely look into, um, seeing if I can stabilize Skyrim a bit more. Because the EMB did help. But I think now it's just a scripting and NPC issue now. There's no real reason to stop here in Dragon's Bridge. We're pretty much always almost there to Solitude now, otherwise I would. Help. Somebody Someone help. do something. More storm cloaks, huh? I don't know what they're fighting, but it's none of my concern. Alright, so this is the way to solitude. Now we're going to have to start worrying about the cold as well. I'm going to do a quick save here. Yeah, see, right now it's just trying to write in the scripts for the AI and trying to summon them in at the same time. And it happens in these war zone areas because, of course, in the war zones, NPC NPCs are being spawned in and they're trying to take control of these war zones, and they're supposed to change depending on what side you pick, who's winning the war, things like that. And while I do have a strong system, I don't think I have the required amount to actually run these. You're in a curious. Yeah, see, and they've set up camp near one of the um, storm cloak. No mercy. Okay, he's one of the main characters, so he can't be killed. Gotta say, I'm still hoping one of these Imperial soldiers actually bite the dust. 
Because I really do want that, um... Th that Imperial Ranger stuff. I kind of want you to die. But... We got other pressing matters to attend to. Which, by the way, I'm going to be taking this horse now. Because I'm pretty sure that other horse is gone. So, excuse me. Hey, Lydia, you are actually putting in work now. I'm impressed. <laughs> bounty? What the fuck? Why do I have a bounty? I guess killing that dog gave me a bounty. That's good. Well, I have no idea where... Oh, okay. The Imperial Storm Cloak. So, I don't give two shits about that. Because, again, that's the Storm Cloak's base of operation. So, it really makes no difference to me. Also, come back here, horse. So, that actually doesn't matter to me. That is a real pretty sky. So I think here is where we can go to actually reach solitude. No, actually, I'm wrong yet again. Alright, so we gotta take this path down here. And I believe I have the companion horses mod convenient horses I do I just have to actually buy a horse and make sure that is installed but while I do have a thousand gold I can I can buy a horse I think I have enough to actually warrant to purchase now I may do that when we come back from joining the army I may actually go out and buy a horse instead of still in this one in a big traveling Skyrim a little bit faster than going on foot If you've come to Solitude to join the Legion, speak to Ricca. If not, keep the ghost clean. So, after much bloodshed, we have finally reached our destination. So then, we'll make a quick save here. And if Lydia decides to show her face, we will enter Solitude. 